Okay, Finola, briefly just before getting into the report, last year was a very good one for the French and German markets. Record visitor numbers from both at a time when their respective economies were not that strong. What do you put that down to? Well, certainly we're very pleased with our, our performance aim and, uh, from the core European markets and Germany and France in there, both doing very well. In fact, Germany is up 35% in promotable visitor numbers over the last three years. France up 40% over the, the last three years. I suppose Germany did return to economic growth from 2011 on and outbound market did improve. So I, I suppose the, 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 the rising tide has raised all boats and Ireland certainly has, has benefited from that. What probably was really important for Germany was we have recovered our value for money image. Um, Germans tend to be very, very uh, sensitive about that. Um, and also we've had a strong programme of communication back on TV since 2010. Um, France, uh, less stable economically. Um, but I would say that they're looking at more of the short haul markets rather than the Middle East and the long haul. Okay. And we've been competing very well against Scotland and against Norway in France. So, uh, and again, with our program of communication, that's helped very well. Okay. So let's uh, look at the market size. We, we, we think of Germany as a vast market, 80 million outbound passenger, outbound visitors. France, sixth largest source market in the world. But this report has greatly refined that down with a new approach to segmentation and a more accurate and relevant approach indeed to sizing each market. So talk to us a little bit about that. Indeed, we, we put a, a working group together um, with uh, Fulch Ireland, with uh, the Northern Ireland Tourist Board, with industry partners, with ITIC of course, and ourselves. And we reviewed all our learning um, from the last couple of years. And then we also did some competitive benchmarking to see how we were, were performing. And it showed us that our base was positive, but that we needed to create more distinctiveness and stand out. And we needed to resonate with specific types of, of consumers. So then we did, we commissioned some segmentation work um, and also some motivation research. And so in Germany, we learned that there's a, a core segment, they're called the culturally curious. Um, they count for about 6 million um, of outbound travellers um, and they're particularly motivated by uh, authentic stories of history and of the people, they love our landscape. Um, and another high value segment that we identified for Germany is what we call the great escapers. There's about 4 million of those. They want to escape their busy lives, they want to regroup with their families, spend time with their, their loved ones, but again, in a wonderful setting, sure, and that's what, sure. what Ireland can offer. And of course, there's, there's wonderful news uh, in this report for the West of Ireland, because Dublin, as we all know, is recovering very strongly in the West of Ireland, less so, but here you've established markets that particularly want to go to the West of Ireland. Tell us a little bit about those two segments. Certainly, the, the French and the German uh, visitors are known for, for wanting to, to, to visit Dublin, but then get outside of Dublin and visit the country as a, as a whole. Um, and as we've been doing this work, identifying the motivations of the culturally curious and the great escapers, the programme for the Wild Atlantic Way came uh, on uh, uh, it came on board and certainly our tour operators and everybody that we've spoken to in France and Germany has been very excited about these new programs. So in terms of the work that we've done and this very coordinated approach with industry and with Folger Ireland, we've been able to develop new programs, new itineraries that really showcase the Wild Atlantic Way and that gives us the standout and the distinctiveness. Ireland is an island. We have a wonderful coastline. The Wild Atlantic Way is a wonderful showcase of that and our French and German visitors are very interested in that. Terrific, and finally, of course, access has always been a critical issue from any market and uh, continental Europe being the same. And this year, the news on that front is good, not only just on air access, but also on ferry access. Indeed, I mean, we, we got badly hit in, in, in the down years, um, particularly in Germany. And so we've, it's taken a bit of time for that to, 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 to come back, but we've had a lot of recent access gains. And I'm sure that the, uh, removal of the departure tax has, has played a, a strong role there. Sure. So in terms of air carriers, I think we're up um, about 14, 15% um, for both markets. But also of great interest is that we have a new route um, from Irish ferries from Sherbrooke into Dublin. And uh, Irish ferries tell me that that's selling very well. Stena has come on the, uh, the, the market from Sherbrooke into Rosslare, so that's going to make things very, very interesting indeed. And with all, us all communicating with the same types of messaging, that's certainly going to, to broaden our appeal um, and hopefully bring success to us all. 
well, that's terrific for Nola, and that's a, a good note to end on. The second and sixth largest source markets in the world, continental Europe already producing the most holiday makers and the most revenue for Irish tourism. So I think we can be confident about the future. I really hope so. And thank you, Eamon, for all of your support in terms of helping us make this happen.